Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In the 1890s, a German inventor, Rudolf Christian Karl Diesel, invented a combustion ignition IC engine which was named after him as the diesel engine. Did you know the very first diesel engine used vegetable oil as its fuel? But due to changes in the engine design, it required a different fuel with more energy output. Hence, petroleum-based diesel started gaining popularity over vegetable oil. Now, throughout the years, the usage of petroleum-based fuels has resulted in a large amount of pollution of air, water, and soil. So, in order to overcome these effects, alternate fuels are being preferred. One such organic alternate fuel is the biodiesel. And that is going to be the topic for today's video. Biodiesel is manufactured from vegetable oil, animal fats, or the used oils from households and restaurants. By adding alcohol and a base catalyst to the oil, biodiesel is produced. This process is called transesterification. Biodiesel is meant to be used in standard diesel engines. Do you know why? This is because its characteristics are similar to that of diesel. For example, the molecular size of both biodiesel and petroleum-based diesel are similar. That's why they are used in diesel engines and since they are made from organic components, they are called biodiesel. Apparently, biodiesel can be used alone or as a blend with regular diesel. A system known as the B-factor is used to state the amount of biodiesel in any fuel mixture. Let us list some B-factors below. 100% biodiesel with 0% diesel is labeled as B100, whereas 20% biodiesel with 80% diesel is labeled as B20. Similarly, 5% biodiesel with 95% diesel is labeled as B5, and 2% biodiesel with 98% diesel is labeled as B2. Blends that have less than 20% biodiesel can be used in diesel engines with or without any minor modifications in the engine. But when biodiesels are used in its purest form, that is B100, it requires certain engine modifications to avoid performance problems. Now, let's see how biodiesel is produced. As we already mentioned, biodiesel is manufactured by the transesterification process. But there are various methods adopted for carrying out the process. They are common batch process, supercritical process, ultrasonic methods, and microwave methods. Many manufacturers prefer the common batch process over the others. This is because it is economical, the manufacturing process is flexible, and it's easy to start and shut down the production. For these reasons, let us concentrate on the common batch process for today. The reaction of triglyceride with alcohol to form an ester and glycerol is called the transesterification process. Triglycerides are types of fat or oil that have glycerin as its base and three long-chain fatty acids attached to it. Depending upon the nature of fatty acid attached to the glycerin, the characteristics of the fat and biodiesel are determined. During this transesterification process, the triglycerides are made to react with alcohol like methanol or ethanol in the presence of a catalyst like potassium or sodium hydroxide. The catalyst helps in speeding up the chemical reaction. This reaction leads to the formation of monoalkyl ester or biodiesel and the byproduct of this process is glycerol. This heavy byproduct settles out and can be used in other industries like pharmaceutical, cosmetics, etc. Now we have seen how biodiesel is produced. Shouldn't we see their benefits and drawbacks? So let's start with the benefits. First, the availability of biodiesel is high and can be easily produced. The sulfur content present is very less in biodiesel and they produce low greenhouse emissions. Biodiesel has better lubrication properties, which reduces the wear and increases the engine life. The flash point of biodiesel is significantly higher than regular diesel and gasoline. This makes it easier to store and handle biodiesel when compared to petroleum-based diesel. Last but not the least, the vehicles running on biodiesel have 30% better fuel economy when compared to fossil fuels. Now let's list out the drawbacks of biodiesel. Not all vegetable oil or animal fat have the perfect quality. So, the quality of biodiesel varies accordingly. Even though biodiesel lubricates and cleans dirt from the engine, the dirt gets collected in the fuel filter and clogs it. During cold conditions, biodiesels have ignition problems. This is because biodiesel tends to absorb little amounts of moisture from air. So the moisture content in the biodiesel tends to freeze in cold conditions and affects the ignition properties. Finally, the calorific value of biodiesel is lower than petroleum-based diesel. It's approximately 9% less. So the heat liberated during the combustion process is less in biodiesel. In order to match the performance of regular diesel, 
more biodiesel is required to be injected during the combustion process. So that's it for today's video guys. See you in the next one. Until then, bye.